Our travels have now brought us back to Santa Barbara, where we have one more stop before heading back to the train. And what could be better than strolling along the waterfront at the weekly Arts and Crafts Show? This event has been a mainstay of the art culture here, going back to the mid-1960s. And while it's normally held on Sundays, holiday weekends often include Saturdays as well. About 200 artists sell here on any given day, and the main rule, besides quality, is that only Santa Barbara County residents can set up here. Beautiful art community. The people right behind the artists, they back you up every bit of the way, and they're really interested in good art. John was one of the first artists we met on our visit, and we figured that anyone who works this hard at their craft must truly be dedicated to their art. Well, that's that black, uh, black soapstone. Heavy, 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 but nice to work with. Turns out John is also the first artist I've ever met who specializes in making sculptures from the roots of the Buckeye tree. And he's not even from Ohio. The root system is like 10 times larger than the tree because it's up in the Sierras that retains all the water in the root system. And the beauty of it, where above it is a little scrawny tree, where here it's just unique and has the different aspirations of it. Of course, meeting the artists is one of the reasons for the success of this arts and crafts show. It's certainly one thing to see beautiful works of art. It's another to see it created. I'm from China since 2006. Um, I'm doing this show just two years ago started. Big C it shows my culture. Um, the art is no line for international, any country. The art is just beautiful, beauty things. Beautiful, inspire people's happiness. Um, how much we appreciate the beautiful natural. That's all. And we wish, we're dreaming something will get better, more beautiful. That's why we're creating. It's not unusual for several thousand people to come and see what's been created. Personally, I visited the art fair maybe a half dozen times over the years. I try never to miss it when visiting the Central Coast. And one of the regulars I always see here is fine art photographer Ali Shirazi, who unbelievably has never held a camera because he was born with cerebral palsy. And the way I take the picture is I look through the camera and while looking I say higher, lower, left, right until the composition is the way I want it. And I tell my assistant, all this sitting on the camera and when everything is the way I want it to be, I say shoot, and they release the shutter for me, whoever is assisting me. According to the City of Santa Barbara's website, this is the only continuous, non-juried arts festival of original drawings, paintings, graphics, sculptures, crafts, and photography in the world. Now, I'm not sure what that all means, but I can tell you that I like what I see here. I like the people I meet here, and I think it's something everyone should put on their paint bucket list of places to visit.